Hey, I'm KIC and welcome to Transport Fever from Urban Games. I want to thank Urban Games for providing me with the review key that we are using to play today. And we are just going to dive right in. This is a game kind of along the lines of something, oh, I don't know, it kind of touches on uh, Transport Tycoon Deluxe, Railroad Tycoon, um, even their previous game, Train Fever, I believe. So kind of, uh, if you like games that involve trains and vehicles and building an empire, moving goods, then this is kind of the game for you. As I said, we're going to just kind of dive in. We are playing the very first mission. This is the first uh, American mission, I should clarify, because there are American and European ones. And as you can see, I think I've left enough time for you to read. If you're interested in seeing what we're doing here, we are in the settlement of Cheyenne. It's 1864, so this is old days, old days, old days, old days. No jets, no... Big, I don't know, huge passenger freighters and freight trains and all that sort of good stuff. I mean, we'll have some options here, but no jet engines, unfortunately. We're going to start we the mission. To beat the competition to the goal, we'll need more workers. Oh, look at that. I received some achievements. The Go me. Full, this business with food could generate some <laughs> extra income for us. I accumulated a fortune of one million without going into debt by merely starting this because I have three billion dollars to start off with. I've played through the tutorials. I have not played through the actual missions, so we are going to be learning this together. We need to deliver grain from Cheyenne Farm to Cheyenne Getreidelager. I'm not sure why that's in German, but it is um, probably because I believe these are German devs. So there you go. So we need to deliver some grain. We're going to have to build... Uh, well, here, we'll leave this up here for right now. we got to figure out... Where in the world? Oh, hello. It is rumored that a huge nugget of gold is buried Interesting. somewhere in the wasteland. There's a big us. gold nugget First somewhere. Are said to have buried it somewhere out All right. The land, while on the run from gunslingers, an aging saloon girl in Laramie knows more. Let's go back to that one. Okay, so where is Cheyenne Farm? I'm guessing maybe over here. All right, so here is Cheyenne Farm, and we need to deliver grain from Cheyenne Farm to Cheyenne Getreidelager, which... I have to admit, I don't know what that is. I I can speak and read enough German to kind of uh, pretend like I sound like I'm not a complete idiot. Just 99%. Uh, but I have no idea what in the world that is. Um, that is really kind of inconvenient because now I, I'm going to have to play the guessing game. Let, let's click on that. Where are you? Ah, the Cheyenne... Getreidelager, of course. I have no idea what in the world that is supposed to be, but that's where we need to get our grain. Is from the farm to that. So, um, I think we're going to go ahead and start off with some truck stations. So, if I remember correctly how to do this, we need to go to that guy, and we're going to do a truck station. And let's see, we need to build them uh, somewhere so that they're accessible to the road. I think that's how that's going to work. I don't actually need it to connect... To that guy, do I? Probably not. I mean, I didn't have to in the tutorial, so I'm going to assume we're going to build one right about there. Maybe. And we're going to build another one, if I can bring that back up. Another truck station that is about... Uh, let's see, we'll rotate this a little bit. Something like that, maybe? Nope. I got a train problem here. All right, well... Hmm. Where can I connect this thing? Where can I put you? You are in an awkward position. How about over there? Can I can I put it in here? Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope. Nobody nope. How about on this side? Uh one field will be removed. I don't really want to remove the field. That that's not really what I was trying to do. Um wow, well that's really inconvenient. Why can't I put it over here somewhere then? Terrain alignment collision. Well that's really annoying. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, I guess over here is about as good as it gets, so we're we're going to have to hope that works. I, I don't really know. Let's go ahead and set up a new line. So this is how we tell our goods to go from one place to another. We click on the Add New Line button down there, and then it seems like I have to click that a couple times before it decides to play nicely. Do that. Cheyenne sightings to uh, Cheyenne North. I hope that qualifies. I actually have no clue if that's going to qualify with what it needs. I don't know. 
that that's going to be interesting. Um, why can I not? Oh, because I need to go back to my depot. Where is my depot? Do I have one over here? Have I not bought a depot? What are you? What is that? It's a train station. Okay, so then I need to put in a depot, apparently. So we'll go to our depot button. And where's our road depot, since that's what we're dealing with here? Is dealing with road vehicles, because we're actually dealing with a carriage, believe it or not. We're going old school. We're going with a wagon. And then we can go to that one. We can buy a new road vehicle. We can buy a new wagon, that horse wagon, that carries all sorts of stuff. We'll add that to the list. And where are you, Mr. Road Vehicle, or Miss Road Vehicle, whichever you are? And why... Hmm. Where are you? Set line. There we go. Set it to line one. There we go. Now, theoretically... If we speed up the game here, this will go to the different depots, and uh, I don't know if it's actually going to count because I didn't connect it to the depot itself, which doesn't seem like I should have to anyway, but I don't know. We're just going to follow it for a moment and, and see what happens here. Theoretically, they'll have some some cargo over here. Oh, there we go. Good. Yes. See, we have some cargo over here waiting, so that's good. That is actually working as intended. The grain is over here, and then, well, the grain is grown around over in here, and it's transferred to the farm, which then is stored in our depot over here, which I hope you are I hope you picked it up. Good. You've got grain 404. Good. Good job. We'll let that one go. I don't need to focus in on it right now. And then we're going to transport it over here, and thus begins our multi multi-million dollar venture, where we're going to see um, just how much money we can make doing all this sort of stuff. All right. So you should be going past the depot. You're pulling into the, um, what is that? Getreidelager. And boom, just like that, we have transported some grain. Of course, we need to transport a little more, so I'm just going to let it continue to run here. And just while we're kind of playing, I'm going to point out something here. Just um, in the interest of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I'm busy talking, sir. Can, can you hold on? I'll, I'll read that in just a second because I was kind of talking. Uh, in the interest of telling you how things are actually working and kind of performance-wise, I'm going to be honest with you. What I've seen so far leaves me a touch concerned in terms of game performance. Now, if you go to my About page on the channel, you'll see what my system is. I'll tell you right now, just the stuff that matters. I'm running a massively, well, maybe not massively, a considerably overclocked Intel 5960X processor. That's a really high-end multi-core processor. 32 gigs of RAM and a GeForce 1080 video card. And right now, as I'm staring at this game playing in a 1080p window, I am getting uh, 39, 35, 38, 42, 36 frames per second. Now, yes, obviously I'm recording, so that's going to take a little bit of resources to do that. But um, I'm a little concerned about what might happen once we get later into the game with more stuff and, and how the system is going to continue to run. I'm, I really am a little concerned, but maybe I needn't be. I just... I think the game would be better served if you could turn off V-Sync for one. And I have actually turned the um, anti-aliasing, I can't even say it, anti-aliasing down to two times instead of four times in an attempt to make things run a little better. And I can even show you here. If I go into the settings and turn all this junk off, it clearly makes the game look crappier, but it actually has almost no impact on my frame rate right now. So 46... I turn all this stuff back on, 47, 47, 52, 44, 42, 44, 48. So I don't know what's going on there, if it's just my system, if could be a driver issue. I will fully admit that it might be a driver issue on my end, but I just thought I would point that out just uh, because that might be an important thing to know. Anyway, we need to continue on here. So we need to buy a rail line to go from Cheyenne to Laramie. Laramie is all the way over here. And theoretically... Hello, Laramie. How's it going? Hmm, you're buried in the desert. Okay. That's cool. 
However, she also seems to think that we the Indians don't might have, have already found the nugget and then reburied it, as in their minds. Let's go gold with that one. Cannot be eaten. I'm ignoring that guy for the moment. So we're going to let construction begin in order not to fritter away our meager starting capital already on the first leg of the journey. Be sensible to choose a route that avoids costly blasting operations to build tunnels. So we're going to be building a passenger train station in Laramie, and we need to connect it to the existing route that we have with tracks. So this is the existing route. It kind of goes that way. This is where our train station is. This is our train depot over here. I suspect we're going to need to, um, oh, I don't know, uh, buy a train at some point. So the game is giving us a hint. It says a valley connects Cheyenne and Laramie near the farm. That's a good area to buy, to uh, lay tracks inexpensively. Now what it's talking about, if I kind of change my perspective here, you can see pretty easily right here, there are massive elevation changes. If we try and go through here, we're either going to have to go over the, the the ridge, which is going to be expensive, building lots of platforms and, and supports, assuming we can even do that. Otherwise, we're going to have to blast and go straight through the ridge, which, um, yeah, it's not going to work out very well either. Let me slow the game down a bit because we're just blasting through time. So what we're going to do is we're going to do what the game says. We're going to try and build something that goes through this kind of, um, I don't know, little valley here that follows the road. And theoretically, it'll work out okay. So we're going to go to our train area. We're going to build a train station. Now, we have not been given any specific indication of where the train station should be. So I'm going to go ahead and say the train station is the most important thing in the world, and it goes right here at the end of this road. I kind of like the, the sound of that. That's, that's how important our train station is. It has to be right there where... Everyone can get to, and it's the focal point of the whole town. Take that, everyone else. Take that. So we're going to go buy some tracks here, and we do that just by clicking on the track button. And uh, I'm going to start from Cheyenne, just because I don't know why. I just would like to do that. Um, cancel that. If I click and hold, we can drag all the way out here, and you can see this is going to cost a lot of money. If we try and go this way, you can see how much that's going to cost. We can't even really afford to do that. So clearly, what we want to do is try and limit how much we are going up the hill, really. We're going to just blast right past this farm here. So about uh, we're going to go about here, about this far, because what we're going to have to do now is turn a little bit to get around this hill. And to keep doing that, we'll just kind of continue slowly on our way here. I'm still trying to stay off of the hill. So, so far, so good. We're not spending too much money to do this. This is working out okay. We're just kind of paralleling the road because, you know, the road is already cut and cut through the, the valley here. Now, here's where it's going to get a little interesting. We're going to have to go through some trees. And uh, I would like to try and maybe see if I can beat this a little bit. Now, that's not really working out how I hoped, but that's okay. It's actually still not that expensive, so I'm, I'm going to say that's fine. Now, we will need to build a bit of a bridge to get across here, obviously. Let me just kind of swing our way back a little bit. Do that. It's amazing how quickly these, these tracks get dropped down. I mean, look at that. It's just like magic. If we go that way, we save a little money. Why don't we go ahead and do that? Let's be cheap. We're going to go that way, and then we need to, of course, cross the road here at some point. We'll do that. Line it up, and then boom! Done. We're going to need to add a line, so we're going to click our add line button. And uh, where is that? Cheyenne North to Cheyenne Sightings. We're going to add a new line. We're going to uh, add stations. I think I always turn the add station button off, which is wrong. So... We'll just go ahead and add a line from boom to boom, so Cheyenne to Laramie. And uh, the game was talking, and I was busy ignoring it because I was talking. So let's go back and see what it's talking about. We have a new mission. We need to connect Laramie and Rollins. So Laramie is over here, and if I start closing some of these, that'll help out. We can actually see what we're looking at. Um, oh, look at that. Let's go ahead and find the golden nugget. Let's do that first. Use the, use the, the terrain tool and dig for gold to one of our nugget in the right location. You will find nothing that can be eaten. What is hmm. that supposed to mean? 
I don't know if I feel like digging that up. <laughs> so let's see, what did it say? Uh, in the mountain that the sun kisses good night. I have no idea which direction I'm facing here. That's kind of a problem. Uh, I guess... Mm-hmm. And where the shadow of the giant tree pierces the heavy rock. Uh, so, I don't know. Over here somewhere, maybe? I mean, there there are kind of, um, I don't know, multiple mountains and multiple trees. I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, but wow, there are... There are lots of places on this map. I didn't realize how large it is. All right, good deal. Well, I am a little curious, since I did see an exclamation point down there. What is that? Just out of curiosity. Those damned Indians. Oh yes, nice. Our work and are said to have Choose an option: how to bargain with the Indians or find something. an alternative. We have various options. Either we buy them a piece of land of um, equivalent value, which could get pretty costly. We're gonna buy an exchange or land. The way, That's the you know the polite way to do things, and we are a polite to try to bribe them with freight company, water, so its we'll just do that. To make one rather aggressive. All right, so we need to connect Laramie and Rollins. Now we're going to build a line to Rollins, which means we need to build a passenger station in Rollins. I hope I built the right station. I didn't pay attention to what I built. I guess we'll find out. I don't know. All right, let's go back to that one. Train station. Oh, you know what? I didn't. Oh, maybe I did. Train station. Hmm. I guess they're both the same. I'm not sure what the difference is between the terminal station and the train station. Other than one's a little more expensive. Um, we'll stick with that one. Because I'm pretty sure that one is correct. So now we're going to Rollins, you say. Where are we going to come in to Rollins? Maybe we'll come in right here at the end. That might work. Too much curvature, narrow angle. Okay, that'll be just fine. And we need to connect the two again. So this time we'll go ahead and work backwards. Why not? And let's see, where are we going to go? That's a huge curve. We don't need to do that. Oh man, this is going to take a little while to get over there, isn't it? Okay, big curve. I'm trying to do my best to follow even terrain. It's a little hard to tell exactly, but I think we're going to need to go up that way a little more. I'd say north, but that's kind of a relative north. I don't know that that's an absolute north. Okay, so far so good. Kind of going around there. Slowly getting there. And then where is our... There it is over here. Can we just connect this straight up? Boom. Done. The Indians All right. Settled, but we've already encountered our next challenge. Before us lie miles and miles of nothing but bone dry step. Bone we dry step. Sure All right. Water. However... There should be iron ore deposits that we can exploit to earn a bit of extra money and to produce tools. All right, so now we need to build a passenger station in Evanston and connect it with the existing tracks. And we're going to connect that to Rollins. But before we do that, because I would just like to do this. Um, nope. Let me try that again. Oh, no. Wrong button. That was me. Wrong button. Let's build a new line. And we're going to add... Rollins, and where are you? Let me zoom out and zoom back in because it's a little faster that way. Rollins and Laramie, and boom, there we have a new line. Sounds good. That is line three, so cool. Then we need to add a new station in Evanston, which is way the heck out of here. Holy cow, man. That is... Um, I don't know why that keeps popping up on me. That's That's kind of annoying. Go away, you. I, I don't need you right now, but thanks for popping up. All right, so we're going to connect Evanston now. Narrow angle. All right, how about... Is that a little better? Is that a little better? Does that make you feel better? Maybe we can even rotate a little bit. Actually, I don't think we need to. I think that's probably fine. Just like that. And now we need to connect this one. So we'll just... Just kind of moving way over here. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Can we just, like, really connect this thing straight across? Holy cow. That is breaking the game to do that. Let me not do that. Seriously, that, that was not a good idea. The game did not know what to do, and it was just, uh... My computer didn't know what to do. It's like, dude, do you realize what you're asking me to do? 
Apparently there are about a billion and one calculations going on to figure that out. That was... Wow, that was just it. Oh, construction's not possible, huh? How about that way? Is that possible? How about now? Can I... Can I continue this? Okay. Take the route past at least three wells. So we'll kind of do like that. And then we'll swing around that side. And we'll swing around that side. And I'm going to come in on the total wrong side of Evanston, I think. Maybe not. Maybe I'll be able to make this work. We're going to go by all the wells, because why not? So we'll do that, and then swing this guy way back around. Nice big sweeping turn. That'll be fine. We're just blowing through our money. It's all good. We'll make more one of these years. Construction not possible. Well, that's frustrating. How about if I do something like this? We'll just take you out a little bit, and then connect you like that, and boom! Just like that, we are connected, so theoretically... We can now add yet another line. Hmm. Maybe I'm supposed to go through those? Oh, that's a bummer if I was supposed to go through them and not not buy them. Oh, yeah, I was. All right. Well, I'll have to fix that, which means I need to blow up my I need to blow my uh my line up a little bit. All right. Well, here, let's do that. And then, well, I guess we just need to blow all of this up. <laughs> Uh, I didn't realize that. I thought I was supposed to go by it, not not through that area. All right, that's cool. I can read directions. I just can't follow them. That's all it comes down to. How many more do we have to go? Not too many. Good, because that's quite a few that I, I just totally screwed up there. That's going to cost a lot of money. You realize that? So with any luck, it won't uh, bankrupt us because this, this, this is going to be painful. So there we go, right through the well. And right through that one. And we'll just keep on going right through them. Because why not? So that's three of them. That was the minimum requirements. And because we are completionists, we will go ahead and do it that way. And maybe rejoin right about there. And then... I don't know. Can you... Nope, that was no good. Well, that, that really didn't work. Why did you let me do that? That's kind of annoying. All right, let's get rid of these guys, too. Oh, not all the trees. These trees are going to cost money to get rid of. I'm not made of money. I, I just wasted a couple hundred thousand, couple hundred thousand bucks, so... Nope, we need to get rid of another one of those. How about now? Can we connect you now? Now we can. The All right. Are refusing to Hooray. Finger. They're claiming that they haven't been paid for months. No idea whether that's right, but we're pretty short on money, and it's only a matter of time before the investors pull the plug on funding us. We could put off paying our guys until next month and promise them double wages in return. Or there's another alternative over in Ogden. Hmm. All right, so we have to figure out what we're doing with the strike. We can pay the workers, or we can put off paying the workers. Well, we'll just pay them. Good. Finally, it's back to work. Unfortunately, our tools are worn out and dreadfully inefficient. We should have our men make new ones. There's an abundance of iron ore in the area. This will save us money, and we'll make faster progress. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Well, if I bring that back up then... This is where it gets kind of funny because we're supposed to build a freight station next to Rollins Einsetert's mine and Laramie Verkzeug Schuppen and connect them with tracks. Mm hmm. So, do you know what an Einsetert's mine is? Chances are you do if you're German or Laramie Verkzeug Schuppen. Yeah. Anyway, minor details aside, we need to build freight stations next to the mine and the Schuppen. Which I gotta admit, I, I what is the Schuppen? It's a work site for something or a work, a work thing, work soig. What is soig? Is that like tool, tool shop? I think that's the Laramie Tool Shop is what that is. So we need to connect the mine and the workshop. So Rollins is wow, that's going to be interesting. So we need to build freight stations next to those guys. 
And then we're going to need to connect them with tracks. So let's see, where do we do our freight station? Um, that one? No, that's the train depot. We're not doing... Hmm. All right, so I guess we are doing it this way. So, not the depot. I want the... Turn that off. No? What am I looking for? Not that. That. I don't really want a depot, though. Why, are, why, are, why won't you give me... Hmm. I'm so confused now. I'm pretty sure I don't want a depot. There we go. Freight station. That's what I wanted. I wanted a freight station. My goodness, I clicked on the wrong thing and it confused the snot out of me. All right, so we're going to place this. Where are we going to place this? We need to place it near the road somewhere. But we also need to place it somewhere that it can easily connect with the train line. Oh, man. Since I just had really terrible luck with that, I'm not sure what to expect in that regard. Okay, maybe we... Wow, I don't know where to do this one. I guess we can go right there. And... Nope, cancel that. We're going to have to kind of shoot way out here like that. And then... How do I connect it over here, huh? I guess we'll swing out kind of like this a little bit. And does that connect it like that? Because you should be able to get there that way. Okay, perfect. Good. Now where's the mine? Let's go to that. Where is the Rollins... Uh, Eisenert's mine. Wow, I couldn't read earlier. I kept calling it something else. It's Eisenert's. Got it. I don't know what Eisenerts is either. Hmm. No clue. No clue on that one. But that's the mine. So we need to build a freight station near that guy. So we'll build a freight station. And we're going to rotate this guy around a little bit. And uh, theoretically, this one won't be too big of a pain to connect. I, I hope slash think maybe. Let's just stretch you out a little bit so that you're still connected. I think that counts. Yeah, I see a little trail there. So now we need to connect this one. Nope, try that again. I'm always clicking instead of clicking and dragging. Okay, so does is this connecting to my... There it is. You are actually connecting. Now, that's kind of inconvenient if someone wants to go that way from up here, but... um. Oh, well, I guess they'll figure it out. I mean, they just, you know, swing around this way and then throw it into reverse, and then boom, they're good to go. I, it would be nice to have something going that way, too. That's my point, but um, that's okay. We don't, we don't need to worry about that. So, now we need to build a depot and buy a freight train that can transport iron ore. And then we're also going to have to make a line. So, why don't we just go ahead and make the line right now? We will do new line. We're going to go from the... Eisenert's mine, or whatever that is, to the Berksoig Schuppen, I believe. That's correct. Something along those lines. That is line number five. I should probably rename that at some point. Here, let's make this the tools line. And I'm going to actually leave it just like that, because that looks great. The line five tools line. Yeah, I like that. We need to build a new... Do we need to build a new depot? I think we already have a depot. We do have a depot. We have a Cheyenne train depot. So let us go ahead and buy a locomotive. We can do, uh, what is, ooh, that's expensive down there. It sure is. Uh, but that'll, hmm. We're going to go cheap. We're going to buy that one. We will go to freight. And we will need to be able to move iron ore. So we can go on the gondola. The loan has already been used up. The investors won't like that. But if we ask nicely, maybe they'll give us a little bit more. Um, oh. Credit Alf Neyman, $1 million, I believe. All right, look at that. We've just been given another million bucks. Although we weren't really given the money. I don't think so much as, uh, you know. They kind of expect that money to, to come back at some point. 
So let's set the line on this one to... Hmm. I guess that one. I guess we just set it to that one line and that'll be okay. It's going to take a little while for that to get from there to... uh, brr, Wow. All the way over there so it can bring it back to over here to make some tools. And we've got to produce 10 tools, which means I'm going to call this an episode. And we'll check out a little more of Transport Fever another time. So I will catch you on that one. Till then, thanks for watching. See you later.